good people and welcome back to the adventures of horribly named quake levels because that's the only excuse i have for some of the things that i'm running across yeah, at this point i don't even know anymore people i i really don't i don't know why god say people name things the way they do right now i'm going to be checking out 5150 uh, which i have no idea why god's name someone's just naming it i a couple numbers and also that's not the full name the, the full name is actually 5150 created by midi guy djb midi guy at crl.com yes people it's another one of those horribly long names where the author's credit takes up most of it yeah it takes up more than the actual level name should have been so um yeah as figured, um, this is pretty much just a deathmatch level. Yeah, most of these are pretty much deathmatch levels, so that's no surprise. Anyway, um, this is um, made by Midi Guy, obviously. Um, also known as Steve Bertholola. Yeah, some weird pronounced name. Anyway, it's made um, with Quest, simple enough. Um, has 16 deathmatch starts, and that kind of makes sense because it is a relatively large file, which suggests that this is going to be a relatively big deathmatch level. Um, like I said, we'll have to see exactly how big this thing is, but yeah, it seems a lot larger than my um, average deathmatch level. Then again, large doesn't exactly mean good, based on, um, like, the abode. The abode was not exactly what I would consider good quality, <laughs> so hopefully it's not like that. Um, sometimes usually a tighter level can sometimes work better. Um, then again, we've had linear annoying rumps, so um, it all depends. So let's see here. Construction time was a bit longer than he wanted to take. It went through different stages. At one time it had elevators and a different layout. So it took him about 20 minutes to basically QBSP this thing, and another 30 minutes to light it. Also, it took him 9 hours to visit this thing on a P-150. Yeah, it's definitely funny you not to hear times like that, because nowadays you could basically QBSP like these old levels and be done in like a minute or two, at worst. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely insane to see nine hours. So, yeah, needless to say, um, here's another level apparently called Hellhold. I don't recognize that one. Um, and he has a lot of Doom 2 watts, which I haven't checked out, obviously. Um, other than that, really, he has a bunch of annoying copyright stuff. Um, you can basically do, basically all the conventional stuff, he really, like, um, he also has a disclaimer, gotta love that disclaimer or whatnot, you know, he's, he's entirely unliable for anything that may happen, yeah, definitely gotta love that everyone includes that for some reason, <laughs> you gotta, like, wonder eventually, is there gonna be something that happens, like, from all these, like, is something gonna explode or something? All right, 5150, created by MidGuy, DJB, and MidGuy at CRL.com. Amazing name. My God. Okay, it looks fancy. It's definitely a lot more fancy than, say, Q2, or the usual levels we play. So, it's going to look pretty, at least. Who knows if it actually has real good gameplay, though. Um, especially since I can't play in Deathmatch, but it would be nice if it actually, you know has the power-ups this time, because last time around, we didn't really see any power-ups in our level, so it felt rather bare-boned, and for some reason, I can't really get, like, a good position just to feel comfortable. Yeah, it's like, I, I like, I just have, like, my mouse or whatnot, I just, like, started picking up my mouse to use it, and now it's like I'm not getting that comfy feeling that's like, okay, yeah, this is feeling better. It was like, underlying my mouse pad, and that was enough to just drive me wild. As simple as a mouse pad, and it, yeah, it drives me insane. Let's see here. There's three doorways, and then there's a fourth doorway that, uh, leads over a pit of lava, it looks like, up to somewhere. So, needless to say, it's a bit confusing. Hmm. There's a grenade launcher there. Some health here. That's already better than the last level. There's actually health in this level, people! It, there's actually health here. And we have this platform here, which it looks like this is the only way to access it. You just come here, you get the grenade launcher. As you see, 
This is little beams on the side, so you can like jump to and get different stuff. Um, I can't really jump up there, but can I? Yep, I can jump back up here, and I can like jump over here and get the green armor. So we do that again. Oops, I missed it. Yeah, it's like you have to kind of like angle it right. Okay, so let's see here. We got some nails. We got some health. And now I need to way back up. I'm assuming maybe these doorways lead back up, like around. Those rockets could be nice to have. I mean, it looks like it's that's kind of the idea. There's plenty of health back here, so not too big of a deal. Let's see here. This is just a ramp leading back up. Pretty anticlimactic. Okay, let's go down the other side. I saw a double barreled shotgun down this side anyway. So as you see, double barreled shotgun down here. Beams overlooking near it. That's totally useless. Um, but yeah, nothing really too, too eventful. But we do get some stuff. Anyway, there is more stuff on the other beams. So I should like try and get over there. At least there's some rockets over there. I'm not sure about those two sides. Oops. And I totally missed the jump. You have to like time to jump right. Alright, let's do this again. Time it, and there we are. Okay, so here we are with a single set of rockets. Not really sure why it goes so much for the pack of rockets like that. Also seems like it's not easy to like jump back. Um, yeah, it seems like because of how low it is, you wouldn't be able to easily jump back. Maybe if I like did a running jump like this. There we are. Yeah, if you do it like a sideways jump, you could do it. But yeah, a normal standard jump, which I'm assuming is mostly what people did in 1996. Um, then again, some levels haven't shown me different. Let's see here. Um, what's over here? Looks like I'm going to need to like, do another side jump in order to get there. Yeah, I'm, I'm having to play platformer over here, people. For some reason, it seems like the entire level is one giant platformer. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything of interest on these sides. It just was that. Ats! Atsmen! I have no idea what I'm trying to cut out here, but... Atsmen! Yeah. That is some symbolistic thing. Yeah. I'm trying to have fun at a random deathmatch level that doesn't really have much going for it. Okay, so I guess it's this way we go, since I just explored every other way. Um, we have little platforms with a yellow armor and the super nail gun. But of course, this means more platforming. And this time it gets more dangerous! Oh goody, if I fail this, I shall die! What a fun adventure. Okay. Uh, there we are. We risked it, and we walked out. We got the yellow armor. However, our greed compels me to do this again! Thank God, I did it twice and won twice. Alright, so let's see. What's this thing? What? And the love of God is this thing. It looks like just a random structure. Okay, and we get a wide open area here for some reason. And the pool of water. A couple different ways here. What's in the pool of water? You would take a thunderbolt, but um... Yeah, usually if there's a pool of water in the map, it's usually leading to a thunderbolt. No, it's just a random nail gun. Okay? I would not have expected a nail gun of all things to be stored in the center of the area. Who in God's name is going after a large battle to collect a nail gun? That feels a bit anticlimactic, guys. Um, where's the rocket launcher? You know your map is going to be unsuccessful if there's no rocket launcher in it, right? Like, that's literally all people care about. Um, let's see here. There's a health here. Looks like we're going to be going down further this way. Um, what, where's this one going then? And look! Two beams over a pit of lava. Well, this looks pretty simple. You just collect this and look back. I guess it's a lot harder in deathmatch where people can kind of knock you off into like the lava easily. Um, but yeah, in single player, really, really easy just to walk back and forth. It's it's like a lot easier than like the starting area of introduction, which is pretty sad. If you, your thing is easier than you know the hard mode of introduction, you're probably not having much challenge. Um, so there's still a Thunderbolt, I'm assuming. Or it could be... Um, I think maybe it was made for the Shareware release, so there might not be a Thunderbolt. Who knows? So I think this is going to loop around with that, the other area. Of course, this also means we don't want to fall into the lava, because it looks like there's various lava-based areas all around here. Wait, where in God's name am I now? I, I, I figured that was like the end of the map. Instead, I seem to be getting into some weird cave area. 
Colossal Cave Adventure for some reason. It looks like that's where we would have otherwise come from. Um, so over here we have a super nail, a double barrel shotgun when we say a super nail gun for. A um, couple different resources over here. Doesn't look like there's going to be a quad damage or a pentagram protection or really anything fancy like that. But there is at least health, which is a step above the last level that we saw. And there's also armor. So, um, two different little things. And lots of fancy little lights. Look at all the fancy lights on the walls. Okay, so we come down here, we collect the super nail gun. So, yeah, more guns. That seems about it. I mean, there is a way back up here, which leads back to um, the area we were at before. I'm assuming. And now it can be said, I assumed correctly. Uh, this just loops around, and therefore it's totally worthless to my endeavors. My endeavors, I'm not really sure of, but look, pretty blue lights! Um, yeah. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, people, in my life. But let's see here. Let's wander around aimlessly and uh, try and find something to do. Like, what's at the bottom of this little pit here? Well, it looks like a deadly area filled with lava that obviously is a good area to be. Just another grenade launcher. And that's about it. Yeah, so you just get a wide variety of different stuff. Um, one rocket launcher on the map. Other guns, it seems like there's two or more. Um... It's a shareware based level, so you're not going to see red armor, you're not going to see thunderbolts, you're not going to see anything like that. But then that, it has a wide variety of different things going for it. It's a wider arena and has um, a relatively, I guess you could say, I don't want to say this. It's kind of like you have like two arena areas with like a central area in the middle connecting them. Um, yeah, it's almost like... What is it, like a sledgehammer or something like that? It's like round at the top, round at the bottom, in the middle, you have like a long linear pipe or whatever. Yeah, it's pretty linear here, nothing really too out of the ordinary. And then you just have two loops at either, either side. Um, still definitely allows for some variety or whatnot, and it's yet another deathmatch level, even if it has a really horrible name. And I still don't know why it's called 5150. That's a really weird name to give a level. And he gives absolutely no explanation for why it's called that. In fact, I don't think he really gave me any information whatsoever about the level and the documentation. He pretty much just said it was a deathmatch level. What's it about people just telling me it's a deathmatch level? Tell me what, what it's about. You know, d you had to have cared. Why did you call it 5150 out of any name in the world? You, you called it a literal set of numbers. There's got to be some rationality, right? Something? Guys? I have no idea, but, um... Level. Concept. Idea. Well, we saw it. That, that's really all I got to that one. Um, yeah, that, that, that's really all I got to say about that. So, um... Yeah, another level. Another random deathmatch level to add to our... Um, I guess you could say at this point we're getting closer to 120 deathmatch levels. My god. What is it about? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a kind of craze of deathmatching and all that that was going on for Quake at the time. Um, a bit of a shame because, like I said, it kind of kills any of the um, last ability of these. Um, they are interesting, I guess you could say, to check out. Um, even if really all you can really do is appreciate geometry. Um, yeah, but other than that, it's something to look at, and looking at things is half the battle, I assume. But, um, yeah, 5150. I, I really just don't get that name. That name is going to drive me off the uh, wall because I just do not grasp it at all. It's a very weird name to have, and I just can't understand it. So anyway, this is a level, relatively large level, as I said. I kind of showed it off. Um, relatively big arena with lots of different little areas to go. No real power-ups or anything like that, but everything else is pretty much included in, like, a shareware version. Uh, made pretty much for registered 1.01 or something like that. Um, actually, no, that wouldn't be the shareware. That'd be actually the full version of the game. What am I saying? It requires registered version. So, I assume it re needs registered for the textures, because it didn't need it for anything else. Um, I, I think, again, the BSP file was um, changed to like a different version between the registered and original. But yeah, other than that, it pretty much has the exact same um, resources that the shareware would have. 
Like, I, I assume this was kind of made with a Shira mindset, because, like I said, there's no Thunderbolt, there's no red armor, there's nothing that would be um, in the registered version that was, like, exclusive to it. So, needless to say, a rather curious little thing that wasn't really anything, but it existed, it was a thing. Um, and also, I don't really think, uh, like last time, there's a bloody timestamp on this. In fact, I'm not really sure why I was given documentation for this level, because outside of, like, getting the author's name, I don't really think I was given much, was I? It's like, I have, like, this documentation, but, yeah, it doesn't really give me a lot of useful stuff, such as, like, the timestamp, or, you know, what the level was about. Um... Yeah, it pretty much says, deathmatch only level. Thanks a lot. So, I guess the lesson is, the world may never know. Um, but, it's a level, you can play it, you can do things with it. Hopefully, we can run into some more single player levels with actual, you know, content. That would be nice or whatnot, and hopefully as we continue hunting along, we shall find some of that stuff. But... I guess then again, um, some, some of this stuff can definitely be rather obscure and is definitely nice to check out and, well, see what exactly what else we have for possibilities. So, here we are, another level to add to our lengthy, endless stream of levels. Thank you all for watching, it's been the Adventure, I guess I'll see you all sometime in the far future.